Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of My Kid at the Movies. In this series, I take my kid to the movies, and I'll talk about the experience, what my kid thought of the movie, and what I thought of the movie. I love spending time with my three-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Annabelle. And I also love movies. So I'm really thrilled to share my love of movies with her. The first movie we went to see was Finding Dory. Annie hasn't seen Finding Nemo all the way through, but has a Nemo stuffed animal and appeared to be excited to see the film. Finding Nemo was a movie Annie's mother and I went to go see on one of our first dates a little over 13 years ago, so I too was looking forward to seeing it. I had read that when taking a toddler to the movies, you should really try to avoid getting there during the commercials and trailers. Since we were walking to my local theater, we left our house about 10 minutes before the show was about to start. I figured that by the time we got there, bought tickets and snacks, and went to our seats, we'd miss almost all of the previews. Yeah, I was so wrong. 15 minutes of commercials and a short film later, the film finally started. Annie really seemed into it at first. The film starts off with a flashback to a very young Dory and her parents. This flashback motivates Dory to go and try to find her parents. Joined by Nemo, his dad Marlin, and their sea turtle friends, the team sets out on an adventure to California. Annie was pretty enthralled by it all. The underwater world was fantastically rendered and it seemed so alive. Annie was excited whenever Nemo appeared on the screen and laughed at Ed O'Neill's seven-tentacled octopus named Hank. Everything was going well. Okay, almost everything. The theater was very dark, and Annie had chosen M&M's as her snack of choice. And because it was so dark, she couldn't see the color of the M&M's she was eating. So, she kept asking me to check what color the M&M was. Now, I can't speak for all toddlers, but my toddler is pretty picky with the color of the M&M's she eats. So, after about 60 or so minutes of her asking about M&M colors, I started to wonder just how many M&Ms were left in this box. Right around the time my mind started to wonder about this endless box of M&Ms, my daughter's attention span also wavered, and she asked to go leave to go play in the park. So, that was that, the end of our first movie-going experience. We ended up playing in the park for a bit and getting lunch together, and it turned out to be a great day. She had a blast, and she talked about it for a while, saying how fun she had that day. And when I asked her about the movie, she said she really enjoyed it. I did as well. I'm bummed that I didn't get to see the end of it, but I kind of figured out how it would end, and Wikipedia confirmed my thoughts as well. So going into it, I knew there was a chance that we wouldn't make it all the way through the whole movie, so I wasn't upset that we had to go. So if you are a parent taking your kid to the movies for the first time, definitely try to go to a cheap matinee and expect to leave early. As for the movie, it was much like the first one. Some very funny stuff great visuals, a fun ensemble cast, and a few tugs at the heartstrings. For the half of the movie that I ended up seeing, there wasn't really anything scary or intense for Annie, so she didn't get frightened at all. I think Annie will really enjoy this one once it's available at home. This wraps up the first episode of My Kid at the Movies. Please make sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to this channel. I really look forward to chronicling my kid's movie-going experience as she grows up. Maybe one day, She'll let you know what she thinks about the movies as well.